Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakat Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to the Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. This is the brother Zayana Moth from the GMS Detroit by Camp. All right, coming to you with another lesson. You know, dealing with the two thirds of our people, wicked ass niggas. All right, and wicked niggas like this. All right, are gonna be destroyed, man. All right, I don't know if this uh, video and it's new, old, or what have you, but it says, or this this one I clicked on says it was published. You know, August third, two thousand seventeen. But whether it's new, old, or whatever, and the point is that, hey, all right, our people are getting tired of being sick and tired, all right? And a lot of these so-called, you know, pastors, reverends, deacons, all right, that's running these churches, all right, they going to, hey, their blood is going to be spilled in, in the streets because they tired of getting hustled, all right, by these so-called me mega pastors, all right? with these super churches talking about just, uh, you know, uh, sow seed and, you know, just believe in God and, you know, and the Lord is going to, you know, <laughs> basically uh, provide you with prosperity. And all right. And our people ain't trying to hear that bullshit no more because that's just what it is. All right. The, the, mo the most high, you know, nine times a 10, ain't going to give you a, a, a windfall just out of the sky just because, you so-called pray to him. Because, hey, for, for those that's thinking they praying to him, to the Most High, right? The Most High not even dealing with our people, right? You got to go through the sun, Yahweh Shai, right? Not Jesus, but Yahweh Shai, right? In the Paleo-Hebrew, okay? And moreover, we have to suffer here. We're not we're not set up here to enjoy America, all right? The, to enjoy the fruits of America, all right? We're being punished, all right? All right, so hey, you have to suffer here, all right, and endure to the end until the Most High and His Son, you know, come back and, and save, all right, the elect, all right, and the one third of the nation of Israel, all right. But in this video clip, you know, it's just as you see on the screen here, say Pastor asked for, asked church for a thousand dollar offering so he can pay for his Rolls Royce. So hey, man, if Jake got any type of uh, you know, uh, sense, all right? Yeah, it comes to a point where you have to say enough is enough. You got to know when you're being hustled, all right? And the, and it's, it's just funny because, you know, these church pastors, they so big and bold and so proud to even, to, to even throw the idea out there lets you know that, the you know, these niggas are wicked. You know what I'm saying? They they say this shit with confidence, like like they believe they can get it. I, like they believe they can get it, and that they got it, and that our people got it. How our people got a thousand dollars to get to some church, but they ain't even got groceries. You know, you know enough money to uh, put groceries in in they uh, fridge for the week. All right, or, or pay their bills month to month, living check to check. But you have a proud ass nigga like this nigga Wayne T. Jackson. Asking for a thousand, thousand dollars a pop, thousand dollars per member from his congregation. <coughs> that that hey, that lets you know our people are way gone. And, hey, it's they have no, <coughs> they have no um morale, you know. All right, they they then get in bed with the so-called white man. By way of this 503 50C3 charter. <coughs> Alright, with the gag order of what they can preach about and what you know what they can't say. Alright. And they've basically in a nutshell sold out to the so-called white man to receive riches here on earth. So I'ma just play this quick clip. clip uh, this clip right quick. Alright. I don't even think I'm gonna play all of it, but just to give you a little sound bite and uh we'll read some scriptures and close out. Because this is this is hypocrisy to the utmost, you know. Wear a 
Detroit stages a protest that turns into a brawl. That video right there has since gone viral. Now, this is the same church that recently hosted Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump. But this protest is about more than just politics. Fox News' Randy Whitley live now with the exclusive story. Randy. Hey guys, this has a lot more to do than just politics. New Era Detroit, they call it church accountability. Taking congregations to task for not serving the community in their estimation as those churches should. They say something doesn't add up when a pastor makes a lot of money, drives a luxury car, and yet the people who live near his church are in poverty. <laughs> scuffle inside the sanctuary after New Era Detroit protests during a worship service. Zeke, the leader of the group, offered no apologies for the dust up at Great Faith Ministry Saturday, only the reasoning behind it. The situation is bigger than just Wayne T. Jackson. This is about black churches and black pastors who live a lavish life on behalf of the people and they're not giving back to their community. He's referring to Bishop Wayne T. Jackson, the wealthy pastor that welcomed Donald Trump, drives a Rolls Royce, and lives in a mansion. Zeke was there for the offering Saturday. When they started the offering at a thousand dollars and then they said if you don't got a thousand dollars then do 300 and if you if you if you don't got if you don't got cash then we got atm machines i don't understand that logic i don't understand that way of thinking and i don't understand that to be what religion is new era detroit says the neighborhood surrounding great faith ministries is by and large impoverished this guy has networks, churches, fancy cars, you know what I mean, million dollar houses, and it's babies in this community that's going without food at night. Somebody has to be frustrated about this enough to do something that would get people's attention, and that's what New York Detroit did. Here's the thing, pick up the phone, call. I want to talk to you, Apostle. Apostle's a very fair man. He would meet with you. He would talk to you. What's your issue? But to do it that way, that is so disrespectful. And members of Great Faith Ministry say New Era Detroit has their church and their pastor all wrong. I miss him giving away homes, yeah. cars. They say he's an astute businessman. Juanita Kinney says he's one with a heart of gold. And when he found out that I didn't have anywhere to live, within an hour he was calling me back telling me to go and look at an apartment. And because of that, and because of the love from him and his wife, I now have my own place. You should talk to people that, he, that, that he's hired. Ex-cons, people that were in prison. He's done so much work for this community. Their homes that he's bought and gave to people. But Zeke don't know that. Many feel New Era Detroit crossed the line and violated a sacred space. They even drew comparisons to Dylan Roof, the man who walked into a church service and gunned down nine people in Charleston, South Carolina. They can't come in here and think they're going to take over our service, have our women and children, mothers up in here terrified, and they're talking about that they are out there protecting the community. This is a community up in here. Yes, right. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Given um, all this being said, would you do it all over again? Absolutely. We would definitely do it all over again. Would we tweak something? Absolutely. We, we, we would probably tweak up a few things and change it. But going back, no, we, we would definitely go in there again. And they better get their act together because we just might be back. Even so, the leader of New Era Detroit says he is open to having a sit down with Bishop Wayne T. Jackson and the pastors of other churches that New Era Detroit has protested. Stay tuned. You, Taryn. Well, Randy, I mean, $1,000 is a lot of money to ask for an offering. But you said about a conversation, but what does the New Era group want the bishop to do? And what do they plan to do if he doesn't? Well, you heard uh, just in that last soundbite. They may show up here again. We don't know if that's going to happen, but he said that's, that's something that they're definitely open to. But New Era Detroit, they say they want to see churches um, doing more to better serve and improve the living conditions of the communities in which those churches are in. And so th this is a story that raises a lot of questions about the function of a church. Uh, what does a local congregation owe the community that it's in? And so New Era Detroit, they're definitely raising that issue. They say there are some churches that are doing a good job of this, but in their estimation, there are many that are not great faith ministries being one of them. It is certainly interesting because we know he's not the only rich preacher out there. So, uh, obviously, more to come on this one. Thanks, Randy. So, yeah, people are full of shit, man. You know, and you, you have Jake that try to play on the minds of the people, and, and you know, you know, uh, you know.
know, play play on 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 Jake's emotions. You know, talking about when you had that one clown. All right, whether he was a deacon or whatever, talking about you know his women in here, his children in here. I mean, the hell with all that, all right? The point is, hey, your man is going off, so-called pastor, all right? He has no right or no business, all right? <laughs> and it's funny, you know, they say he say he's a businessman, right? He's a pimp. He's hustling, you know? He's hustling the word of the most high, all right? But yet not teaching our people a, a damn thing, you know? Because if you ask any one of those church members, do they know who your Shai is? All right, they're going to look at you like you got three heads upon your neck. All right, do you know who the Most High and what his name is? All right, do you know who you are? Do you know you're an Israelite? All right, those people in those churches don't know all of that. They don't know any of that. All right, but hey, but at the same time, but that's the defining line with Jake, you know. When you, when you start digging into his pockets, that's when Jay got a problem. And that's what's going to wake a lot of our people up and basically denounce these churches. Right? Because now they're starting to show that these pastors are truly, um, you know, wolves in sheep's clothing. You know? they wolf in sheep's clothing. All right? But, um, hey, they, they basically... Um, you know they don't they don't care about the flock all right he he claim they want to claim and you know speak you know get you know uh well on on this guy's name Wayne T Jackson somebody he's get you know he's giving houses and cars and jobs and this that and the other but what but still whether you did that or not you did that basically off of, off off the um the people's money you ain't doing that off your own money, all right? And it ain't like you ain't got it. So it's like, for damn sure, you should be buying all those people, <laughs> uh, 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 people in that church, a house, and a car. You know what I'm saying? Filling up, you know, giving them food or whatever have you, all right? So, you know, so basically, again, he's still just a hustle man, all right? And there's no truth in those churches. Right and hey, the spirit is coming out more and more about these places. They, they hey, they're labeled as a uh, uh, harlot houses, harlot harlot houses. All right, a whole house in the scriptures. All right, but um, hey, why is that? Because shoot, who do you find it in the church? Uh, right, in that in this video here, right, most of the people that were in the background were women. All right, with females, so-called, you know, the the MB, all right, getting all emotional, you know, because basically uh, a man, you know, with some t testosterone stood up, stood for something. You know, he may not have stood for the truth, but at least he stood for something and took a stand and said, you know, that, you know, this past is going off and being wicked, you know, by asking for all this goddamn money. And it's like, where the hell is y'all mind at, you know? Why why did it take somebody, you know, to make such a bold stance for y'all people to wake up, you know? That's why two-thirds of our people are just going to be destroyed because they just fucking walking, talking zombies, all right? They, they don't want to be led to the kingdom of heaven, all right? Through the man of the Lord, through the prophets, the true prophets of the Lord, all right? They, they, they want to follow after the ways of Esau. All right, and the, the wicked two third of our people. But um, just real quick, really quick, if I can get this, because our people, you know, they they not these so called pastors and preachers, they not doing it. All right, because um, um, you know, they want to teach, you know, spirituality. They doing it simply to make a dollar. And they know this is one of the fastest hustles on earth, all right, to where they can get paid, to where they can spend a couple hours of their time and give a, a, a motivational talk, all right, and all the cash should just be flowing in, all right, because our people, all right, they don't want to be taught anything. They just want to be entertained. So if you can entertain our people, all right, 
our people, hey, they gonna pay for their entertainment. They gonna pay for having a good time. All right, that's just the nature of our people. All right. So, real quick, this is John Ten. Let's see. I think I'm gonna stir that about. Okay. Let's see. In verse 12, all right, it says, But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd, whose own, whose own the sheep are not, see the wolf coming and leave the sheep and flee, of, and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. Huh. And that's what this guy, Wayne T. Jackson, is. He's a hireling. And you think he's in there while he's hustling the people for $1,000 a pop or $300, $300 a pop? All right, do you think he's uh adding basically giving out giving the people any value? Is he at least warning them of the microchip? Is he at least telling them that they're Israelite, that they're the chosen people of the most high, or he just selling them you know hopes and dreams, selling them an American dream of prosperity? All right, and that that God's got you, and that he you know he's gonna look out for you. No, because those very people in that church. <laughs> All right, are going to receive the chip. They're going to get caught up in Jacob's trouble because why? They're they're not they're not being warned. They're not paying attention to the true prophets of the Most High, you know. And they're not watching. They're not paying attention, all right, to what's going on around them. So hey, they're going to get caught up. All right, they're going to get caught up in in, in all this. All right. Hey, 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 he basically this guy Wayne T. Jesse. He's got a lot of blood on his hand. All right. Because the scriptures, you know, in Ezekiel um, second chapter, basically talking about talks about you know warning the people, and he's not doing that. You know, what I'm saying when our people get caught up, all right, he's basically you know he's gonna leave his people high and dry. You know, if he's to even make it that far. But it says the hireling flee because he has a hireling that care of not for the sheep. Kind so when things get you know. Get um get real, you know, get real in the field, all right. You know, he has his, you know, multi million dollar home, you know, probably got getaways and this and that, multiple homes and you know, different parts of the states. You know, he's he's basically, you know, he's going to use his money to save him because he's a hireling, you know, he's not spiritual, he don't truly believe in the most high, or else he wouldn't be in that seat, all right. He wouldn't be in that space of being a so-called pastor, preaching, you know, uh, wickedness to our people, it's preaching white Jesus, all right? He wouldn't be doing that. It says, as the Father know me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Kind of, I'll start right there. And that's going into another lesson. But that's dealing with Yahavashai, you know, basically laying his life, life down for the elect. You know, because hey, he he's the shepherd that truly cares, you know, for for the 144,000 and the one third. So he's paid his price. Yahavashai paid his price. All right. By giving his life, you know, in exchange, you know, to basically adopt us back to the father. All right. But this nigga, you know what I'm saying, Wayne T. Jackson, he just looking to secure the bag. You know what I'm saying? He like he, like they said in the video, he's a businessman. Right? So that's all he give a damn about. You know? So you know, hey man. Time's gonna come, you know, when a lot of these pastors and preachers get locked get knocked upside the head, get caught slipping. All right, because a hey, in the eyes of our people they they um they not looking good right now, all right. Basically, all all their wickedness is, is is basically pouring out, all right. And Jake is starting to see see these past for what they really are, hustle man, all right. And that's one thing you can't do. You can't play with Jake's money. You know what I'm saying? We start maybe playing with his pockets, all right. That's when when with Jake. Oh, and his and his and his and his food. You know what I'm saying? That's when Jay get unruly, you know? 
So hey, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakai Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to the Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.